the who? Whenever you want to hear my story, come see me. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pikmin 4. Last episode, I revealed that I'm in a race against Mike's Hard Lemonade. <laughs> and today, and we were, honestly, I think I'm beating it. I think I'm winning. <laughs> my, my vast Pikmin experience is outweighing the fact that with each day, I'm drinking an entire bottle of Mike's Hard Lemonade. I have two left. I got to finish them before the, before the recording session's over, so... This might get really bad. Uh, where am I going? I'm going to... Eh, let's talk to Schnau some more. I love that the voice I give him is the exact tonal opposite of the voice he has. He talks like this while rowling. And I, <laughs> I say, it won't be long before we've collected each and every treasure on this planet. I'm certain of it. <laughs> it's the exact opposite. Before we got married, my wife took a compatibility test to assess our relationship. It was all for a laugh, but we got 120%, indicating that we would be eternally happy together. I don't really believe in all that fortune-telling stuff, but that test got it right. Olimar's so sweet. Ah, oh, man. I, I kind of wish we got a little bit more interaction with his family. Maybe the next game could just be him taking them here on a vacation, and then they get taken or get, uh, get in danger. Or they're the captains! How cool would that be? Olimar's just, like, sitting back, and they get to learn how to do stuff. That'd be sweet. Come on, Nintendo. Give, give me more slice of life stuff. How many times have I heard that my fam heard my family complain about a jar that won't open or a, dar a door that won't open? And there I am saying, just run it under hot water or push, don't pull. However, I've tried both on this bag and it, li it, lit it literally can't be opened. That's funny. Oh man, I want a croissant. This is an extremely dangerous food. Its light and airy appearance belies a rich and indulgent interior. Before you've finished one, you're already reaching for the next. Is it even possible to deny such temptation? And do I even want to? Man, <laughs> why is bread so good? Okay, I gotta know. I nap in the pilot seat sometimes, but a cushion like this would be a great alternative. The only weird part is that it's edible. Does that mean something? Or does that mean something or someone could eat it right out from under you? That's a major drawback. Extremely sweet. Almost too sweet. The flavor makes you drowsy, feel drowsy with joy, and you want to soak in those joyful juices forever and ever. I may need to limit my intake when it comes to this fruit. I look at this fruit and, and am instantly overcome by the urge to split it into a million pieces. I close my eyes to avoid the thought, but the impulse just got stronger. I must be holding on to some deep desire to take on and defeat a giant spherical obstacle. <laughs> Seems to be a citrus lump, but younger and very green. Inexperience is usually perceived as, we as a weakness, but its power should not be underestimated. Many an organization has been improved by a newcomer's creative and untamed energy. To look at a cross-section of this fruit, you'd think it, that it was the drawing of a star, like one, uh, like one my son would make. Stars don't usually look like that, so why do we draw them this way? Maybe the secret to the universe is hidden within those five points. Or it's due to people having weird vision. <laughs> I don't know the term for it, so I'm just calling it weird vision, where you have like kind of the starburst when you look at lights. I don't have that, but my roommate does, so it usually means I'm the designated dr night driver, despite being the only one of my friends. Eh, that's, yeah, really the heaviest drinker amongst my friends. And no, I don't drink while driving. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. What is this? What does this say? Hmm, I can tell that it'd give me tons of power and stamina. I'm not athletic. What do you mean? You are so athletic, Olimar. You, you, you undervalue yourself. But if I ate this whole thing, I'm sure I could work for three days straight without a wink of sleep. Now that I think about it, I don't want to hear. I don't want the president to hear about this and get in any ideas. My son is always playing some sort of adventure game. He becomes a he the hero, defeats his arch nemesis, and saves the day at last. I admire heroic figures like that. But if given the choice, I'd choose my own life again and again. Seven days left, seven ship parts remaining. Let's do it in probably like two days. Yeah, although this is a difficult area. Nah, I can still crush it. The hero's hideaway. Why is Olimar calling it that now? Will he have a different name for it? And where are we landing? The safe is open, okay. Oh, that's right. We did start the adventure here, didn't we? 
Wow, I I completely forgot about that. This is full circle. Something about this area is different from the others we ex we've explored so far. Wait, where are you running off to? Where? Wait. This is all coming back to me. This is so weird. <laughs> now we have story context behind this, and... I'm one really wondering why the Pikmin are doing this. That can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't see really usually scurry off like that. I suppose I'll have to call them back while I sh search for the missing ship parts. Are there a hundred in the field, or can I withdraw some? Okay. So there's something going on here. Uh, that's a little bit... A little bit unnerving, because it means that all the, all the effort I spent to gar garner my Pikmin numbers is kind of for naught. But it, it also means that this is going to be a little bit simpler. All I need to do is find Pikmin. And probably the overall uh, level of... Yeah, like the flying platforms are gone. I will have to go into the kitchen, but probably not... Probably not have to do as much of the crazy mechanics. Okay, let's get all these Pikmin. Constantly use my radar. Why are there Pikmin left behind? Do I split up? I probably split up the group, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna split up the group as soon as I land here. Okay. So you, Moss, you're gonna go... Why is there still one there? Uh, you're gonna go over... Just, just over here. It's weird seeing Moss in this context and it being good. That won't last for long. Although maybe Moss's intentions are... sincere. I don't know. You don't know. I needed this. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can't rush quite yet. They really want the two captains to stay together. There are no enemies either. That's the weirdest part. I have yet to see a single enemy. I mean, oh, actually, that's not true. There's an enemy up there. Okay, we got them. Good. Uh, there are only 46 out. 46 Pikmin, that is. Okay, we can grab the stairs. I wish I could look further up the stairs. It was unlocked at 000. That's weird. Okay, get them out. Oh, there aren't 100 Pikmin now. Or there aren't 46. That's just... It's all the ones we know about. And we can't take out any more anyway. Okay, so we're gonna deal with that. Get some more Pikmin. That's all that this was for. We can go to the fan, but I'm gonna go kill that enemy. I have enough Pikmin now. A duffel bag, so whoever... Ah, hello. Whoever lived here was m leaving. And... Honestly, considering... Oh, there. Considering how everything is strewn around, they either had kids... Or they were in a rush. Can you tell that I'm trying to, uh... Trying to rationalize the... The apocalypse theory? Can I swarm these guys? I can. Sweet. Okay, hold them back. Hold them back. Don't need to. You're gonna drop something? Question mark? Ah, the the radar. I love how I love how the ship parts look. They did such a great job with them. They're they're so quirky, but at the same time. You know what they do. Like, they're, they're so tropey as well. The interstellar radio. That's right. We located it at last. With this back in my possession, I can finally call for help. Uh, why is there suddenly a boss? I mean, this makes a lot of sense, considering the Pikmin were acting strange, huh? When did that creature show up? Could it be the reason why the Pikmin and the Onion are acting so weird? Yes, it is. Oh, oh my word. Oh my word. The foreshadowing. I just realized the foreshadowing, guys! You know how Olimar mentioned that... The... 
Oh, that's great. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave that anyway. You remember how I mention uh, how Olimar mentions that uh, he didn't know or he b believed that they were un like they he didn't know if they could control Pikmin or not. This is why, because he encounters one. Yep. Do your tongue attack. I almost treat this like the plasm rate. Actually, this is just the plasm wraith fight. Hold on. This is literally the plasm wraith fight. Do it. Kill him. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Come here. Oh, that's not good. Uh, well, we're going to start targeting him. And while we target him, we're going to get the gems too. You know, I, let's, let's do a slightly different strategy. Oh, I need to clear off one of the one of the weak spots. There we go. No, no, no. Don't fall for that. Fight him. Good. I'm fine with some of my Pikmin getting distracted, just not all of them. Yeah, you guys can go ahead and kill this. Go ahead and kill them all. Get out of the way. I tried to make him dodge. Still trying to master this with the the whole camera thing. It worked there. It kind of worked there. Okay, good, 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 good. This should... It might not kill him, but it's going to do a good job of it. We're getting close. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. There you go. C-stick, baby! Break it. It'll stun him. Okay, we can actually burst those. I forgot. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. He doesn't have anything to distract him. It's kind of funny that his greatest strength, all meant to distract Pikmin, also distracts himself because he has to get he has to get uh, it back on his back. It's a double-edged sword. He's dead. Ew. The holes look kind of gross there. He's a cute enemy. Just not, you know, like that. Ah. Thank goodness, the Pikmin and Onions seem to be back to normal. Now it's time to transport that precious interstellar radio. Uh, which I think I already have... Yeah, I already have that going on for me. This is not a base. Sweet. It didn't need to drop nectar, but I'm very glad it did. Okay. Now things are back to normal, which means... Moss, you go back to base, and now you can actually get some Pikmin out. Olimar, I'll probably head over here. There's some Pikmin out there. I might not be able to withdraw any. I'm not sure. Uh, I can just jump in this, right? Yep. Okay, come on, guys. Come on. It was fun. It was fun while it lasted. You had your fun. Now we're all gonna have fun. Where does this take me? Oh, wait, it takes me right... Oh, it takes me back on the fan. That's actually useless. Come on. Come on. Uh, we can get there. First, let's switch. Where? Oh, he's behind it. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna guess that there aren't Pikmin scattered up ahead. And that 74 is all that we're out. Yeah, okay, that is the case. Cool. Um, I'm I'm really gravitating towards having an equal number of every Pikmin out, so we're gonna kind of do that. Ah, uh, okay, so there are pick 20 Pikmin left in the field. That's good to know. And there are a bunch over there, so let's send Moss over there, switch. Olimar, you can get up here, take a look at that over there. Oh, you can't get up. Oh, I didn't think about that. I did not think about that. Okay. So we gotta... We gotta clear this out quick. Because the Pikmin have no way of getting back to base. Okay, so you can get up, but where are you going? Come on, guys. There's a base over there. Let's kill you. Nice. And go switch the base. Cool. Good sign. Uh, where am I going? 
I got these guys. Is that everybody? That's everybody. Okay, so where... We need to get through that gate to get this... This. We need to... Go through a pipe. So you know what, Moss? You're just gonna have to go back to base. Girl. I think that's... I think that's all you're gonna have to do. Especially since I need... It looks like I need some sort of, like, uh... Or I need to be able to break the pots. And then I might need, uh... It looks like some of the... The platforms might be inoperable, so I might need a button for them? Okay. And the fans, too. Okay, you... I've had enough of your kind. You can... You can die. You aren't... The Plasm Wraith, you are not. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Uh, you die. And can I climb this? Eh, just some plastic. Olimar's kind of just going on a little murdering spree, which I'm I'm fine with. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Go. There we go. Whistle them back. I don't need your help. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're clearing this out. Uh, that's so that's a job for yellows. This is a job for everyone else. Oh, nice. Look at them double team it. Look at them double team it. And there. Let's switch. Okay, now we can break these. It lo yeah, that's that's the key. Can we, we can't enter that. That's a captain only one. Uh, do we need to switch? I need yellows, so I, I, I'm gonna have to reunite the captains. We only got one ship part done today. Uh, get up there. Let's see if we can change that in the time we have left. Molly. Expand. Hopefully I can change that. Like, this was a needed day because there was some story stuff that happened. But, that doesn't change the fact that I'd like to have a little bit more progress than that. Go. I mean, all of you. All of you. Good job. Uh, and then what do we do here? We climb this. Ship heart. Ship heart. We're gonna get that. We're gonna get that. And I'm gonna hit this button. I don't know what it does. Uh, we can't get that, and we can't jump up. Barely not jump up. That That's unfortunate. Uh, okay, so that's, that's our part. We can at least start on that. And then, Olimar, your job... ...is to... ...chase after them. Okay. Hopefully Olmar can get there in time. Maybe. Come on. There they are. Okay. No, switch back. It's good enough. Good job, guys. I did not expect I didn't expect them to be able to knock that entire thing out. We have lined up for ourselves so many ship parts. And while we only got one today, I think one. Yeah, just one. I think we're we're in a position where we can get probably like six, maybe five tomorrow, five or six. Not bad, not bad. We lined up the dominoes and all we got to do tomorrow is knock them down. Ice blast, okay. This is Captain Olimar. I'm currently stranded on an unknown planet on, in the far reaches of space. Please send help, as fast as you can. I can only hope this distress signal reaches the rescue corps. Days left. Six. Parts left. Six.